I'm ready to play Gamma World. Wait a minute. We're playing Gamma World? I thought we were playing Grandma World. I, no. I purposely learned all the rules to Grandma World. What are the rules of Grandma World? Well, it's a role-playing game set in a retirement community, and you have to just survive. <laughs> Bowel movements are a major part. You have to, like, saving throw versus constipation. You have, to, you, have, uh, you have special abilities, like forget everyone you've ever known. My last Grandma World character had a constipation of 18. <laughs> so I had a plus three <laughs> modifier. I don't want to play Grandma World now. I don't want to play this <laughs> Welcome to our brand new show, Rated RPG. In the fall of 2015, scientists at the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, Switzerland embarked on a new series of high-energy experiments. Uh. Something unexpected happened, and in the blink of an eye, many possible universes all condensed into a single reality. Oh my god. Because of the Swiss. Uh, the year is now 2162. Animals have evolved. They turn into humanoid creatures who can do things. There's androids. But basically everything huddles in trade towns that rarely rise above the technology of the Dark Ages. Like Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Yes. Two men enter, one man leaves. Who runs by the town? Master Blaster. I have here your character sheets. Jason, you're yeah. freakishly big like Andre the Giant big. Oh. I'm a telekinetic... Radioactive. You use the power of your mind to reshape the world around you. You channel the destructive forces that created Gamma Terra. Should we say what our alpha power is? Sure. Narcolepsy. I can shoot plant spores at them that make them go to sleep. Ah, okay. Mm. Uh, empathic healing. Okay. I can feel others' pain, which sounds like a blast. I have light generation. And I'm also part cat, so. Uh, my name is Vegetation Unit number 17. My friends call me Unit. I'm a plant android. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've got a machine grip. So, like, I'm a robot Groot. Can you dance in a cute way? I hated that part. <laughs> I know. Don't ever look back behind this. Okay. Don't ever look. Oh, shit, I looked. I'm sorry, Aaron, I just looked. I looked again. Don't Fuck. ever look. Shit. Don't even see my dice. Shit, don't look. I just looked at the dice. Why it's, did you say don't look at the dice? It's all secret back here. Well, oh, shit, I did it again. Stop it. Son of a bitch! I'm gonna kill your character. He can't control his eyes. You're an RPG rubberneck. That would be a good name for a rapper. So, Yo, what's up? Uh, it's RPG rubberneck. All of his raps go like, go like, hey, oh yeah, boy. I mean, oh, what's that? Sorry. Uh, party people in the house go, whoa, what, what's that over there? <laughs> Gary, Unit, and Rose, you're all driving along a dusty stretch of highway in Gary's truck, his pickup truck. This dust is not good for my circuitry. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Gary is crammed into the driver's seat. He can barely fit. Get the fuck off of me. I can't. I'm a giant. This truck is small. You see a in. sign on the side of the road. Oh? That says, shitty outpost, one mile. Let's go to the shitty outpost. Perhaps we should wait for a more favorable outpost option. Um, I don't trust a better outpost. All right, fine. We'll go to this one. Once you enter the city limits, you see there are two buildings. One appears to be some sort of cafe. The other appears to be some sort of rundown junk shop. You know what happened in the last junk shop we were in. You knocked over an entire shelf of articles because of your bulk. I will be careful. Do you have an accent? Are you from... Yeah. Just I just am a... Yeah, I'm a giant. Inside the um, shop, is Jolly Fizz Hand. Well, hello, Mr. Fizz Hand. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I am Vegetation Unit Number Seventeen. Jolly Fizz Hand has a giant, giant head, extremely overlarge. Oh. Uh, he looks like he's probably in his sixties. Hello, um. I'm Jolly Fizz Hand. Pleased to meet you, sir. Welcome. Very nice to meet you, Jolly Fizz Head. Ja. <laughs> Fizz Hand. The name of Jolly's shop is Fizz Hand's Shit and Rusty Scrapings. In case you wanted to recommend it on Yelp. I look around the shop. Is there anything that catches my eye? The shelves are just crammed full of shit. Mm. There's stuff everywhere. I grab three things off of a shelf. What what are they? Roll uh, two ten-sided dice. Uh, 63. Plastic water bottle. Oh. <laughs> 72. And a wristwatch. Someone wants to start running. Appears to be broken. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking for something a little nicer, I might be willing to make you a trade if you would do me a favor. Well, what's that? Big hand? <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I've been through the portal so many times now that things happen when you go through the portal. <laughs> 
Excuse me. <laughs> Is she farting? Yes. <laughs> I wish you'd close your portal. <laughs> In my junkyard, there's a strange portal. And sometimes, a strange creature comes through the portal. All right. There's been many different creatures, but mostly they all seem to be undead. Some sort of zombies, perhaps? Well, best of luck to you. <laughs> you want this portal to be closed? Well, I'd love to find a way to close it. I had a friend who went through it. What happens when you go through some weird things happen to you? And my head wasn't always this big. I see. This happened when I went through the portal. I happen to have three special items. I have an experimental fusion-powered gauntlet sports titanium alloy servo that would allow you to put this on your hand and deliver massive punishment. I do not require this as I have a machine grip. Well, I also have a disturbingly lifelike mannequin that inflates and follows you around. Oh, that might be good. It's an inflatable friend. Those are the things I would give you to take with you. Oh, we get to take something with us. If you were able to find the source of where these strange beings are coming from, I will give you my prized possession. If we make it back. And then we fart, and our heads grow big, and then we come back. And then we get... And we have to live with this loser. You don't have to live with me, I'll just I was, give you I my... I didn't beer. realize I was speaking out loud. I can hear your thoughts, that's the other ability I have. Alright, let's go do it. Do you want to know what the fourth item is? Yes. My van. Ah. He waves a hand and uh, a little creature that you didn't even notice was there before. <laughs> Short, diminutive, like two foot tall, bug-like creature opens a door. Behind it is a gleaming, shiny van full of guns and lasers. And candy. There is some candy in the cup holder. Goodness, that is quite a van. When I was younger, I used to drive this around and, and do things that were exciting, but now I just run the shop. I don't really like going places. People make fun of my head. The tears are bigger, too, <laughs> when I'm sad. Okay, so we got the special items. We're going to go in the portal, and Fizz Hand will we'll do our best, buddy. Uh, you weave your way through a bunch of old, rusted-out cars. You come to where Jolly told you to go, where, and there's a shimmering, orange, roundish portal. I'm going to take a running jump into it. Jason jumps through. All right, you all go through the portal. Are these surveys? Yes, you fill these out. How was my DMing? <laughs> you were all strangely mutated as you went through the portal. I feel strange, fellow companions. I feel as though my body is generating an intense electromagnetic field. Nerfed. My body has taken on a foam-like texture. Perhaps you'd like to meet my inflatable friend. The two of you seem to have something in common now. Ah, 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 ah. I feel much different now that I'm four feet taller. <laughs> oh, no. So what are you now, like 16 feet tall? You're never going to be able to fit in a van. I'm a, I, now we need a van. I'm going to go back and talk to Big Head Todd and the monster. <laughs> <laughs> you appear on a street. When you look to the right, you see ruined houses and rubble and piles of stuff. When you look to the left, you see uh, an intact building. It appears to be some sort of maybe a university building. There's an old uh, broken down sign. It says Ass Farts Center. But I, you can tell that it used to say something else. I bet Fizzy Big Head was in there. Maybe we should investigate. Yes. Um, as you're talking, you hear the sound of wings. You look up and over coming across the parking lot. It's Paul McCartney, get down! <laughs> we'll be a band on the run if we're not careful. What do you call a horse mid wings? Pegasus. What do you call a dog mid wings? Linda! Ha ha ha! She's uh, dead, Jason. I might be it doesn't matter. <laughs> what, did I kill her with, with my joke? Did my joke also cut off Paul McCartney's ex-wife Heather's leg? <laughs> the thing that you see flying towards you, you know them as Hawkoids, but he's basically a bird man. He's just gonna try and fuck me, but I'll go talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> Take one for the team. He lands in front of you and he says, What are you doing here? You're crazy. This is, this is so dangerous here. <laughs> well, you think just because you have wings? That you can talk down to me and tell me it's not safe to be here? My name is Herbert Smith. You sound like a Mormon. I'm not a Mormon, I'm a Hawkoid. Hawkoids can be Mormons. I can give you some literature if you would like. No, thank you, sir. Why is this land dangerous? There tell are, us the information. There are horrible creatures that roam. I'm is... recording this in my memory banks. Why? I am vegetation unit number 17. What's your name again? My name is Herbert Smith. I knew that because I have recorded it in my memory banks. 
Uh, you notice that he, um, like right in the front, he's got like a pair of... A boner. Of, uh, no, not a boner. Right in the front. Not a boner, but a really gigantic like wad. What's going on with your, your pipe penis? And, and then in the back behind, uh, you can't really see anything there, but you do hear like sort of a, a growling. Not out of his butt. He says, well, what are you doing here? We came to investigate this land and try to close this portal because it is negatively affecting the world that we come from. Oh, but so many people have tried to do this. Why do you think that you will be successful? I was an adventurer just like you. My friends who were with me all died. Oh, I'm sorry. And I fled. I can fly, so I fled. Why don't you go back through the portal? Because I don't want another mutation. The ne who knows, the next time I go through, I might not be able to breathe or see. Might not be able to breathe. Recorded. Why are you recording? These are my memory banks. I'm recording pertinent information. What if I throw you through the portal? You would not have gone of your own free will. Maybe the portal will take pity on you. What? <laughs> Never mind. Is, what he, is, is what? he okay? What is in that building over there? Oh, that building? The Ass Farts Institute. Well, that actually, uh, that's not what it was. It's, it's actually uh, originally called the Haas Fine Arts Center. Obviously, someone of very little moral value made it the Ass Farts Center. It is a redundant joke, but I get it. He digs through his pouch and he says, if you really, really want to go in there, I, I do have this old map that I found in one of the buildings. I knew we were in fucking Eau Claire. <laughs> <laughs> I hand you a map of what is apparently something uh, called University of Wisconsin Eau Claire. Many, many years after mm -hmm. it was in its prime. For those of you from different locations, Eau, Eau Claire is a city here in Wisconsin. I may or may not have gone to college there. And I'm sure he wrote that asphalt's joke back when he was in college. <laughs> <laughs> and he's finally getting to use it. So he hands you that map and he says, no, this map isn't accurate. This was, you know, made back when everything was still there. Let us investigate the Asphalt Center. Would you like to come up uh, with us, Mr. Bird? You three do seem a lot different than the usual people who come through here trying to close this portal. We are most unusual. Beep, boop. Seventeen, five. I will try to help you. Seventeen, five. Is that like Robot Semper Fi? Uh, Oh, I've caused a malfunction. Do you know how to reset this? Bonk. Ah. Thank you for helping me reboot. You're welcome. No, oh, I have software updates to install. <laughs> oh, shit. We're going to be here for a while. He's going to have to restart. Uh. <laughs> hey, if you want to watch us play more Gamma World Live or see the rest of this episode, go to live.beerandboard.com. We've got another live Gamma World roleplay session on October 21st. And don't forget about Beer and Board Games. On Friday the 17th, we're playing The Walking Dead and a Cthulhu card game live. It's all at live.beerandboard.com. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this new series. There will be more episodes coming soon. And two episodes of Beer and Board Games coming out next week. Thank you.